It's been a long time coming. There have also been failed attempts, but at long last, digital broadcasting has been activated in Lagos. Lagos, welcome. For Lagos residents, this means a departure from poor signal and struggle with antennas. From today, with just a sector box, a little decoder, Lagosians can now enjoy over 30 digital television services free of subscription. Since the commencement of the digital switchover implementation in 2016, we have also licensed at the NBC over 140 digital terrestrial television channels. May I also use this opportunity to remind us that six months from today, analog broadcasting in Lagos will be switched off. Yes, digital switchover going live in 31 states across. More than one million set-up boxes are available for the initial rollout. The key players explain how the second phase would work and at what cost. 60 to 70 percent of advertising revenue is in Lagos. The average for now is about 350 million dollars a year, right? So that is coming into Lagos. It's been on an analog. It's not been measured properly. It's not been able to go into the hands of the broadcasters and the producers of content. This is what audience measurement will do. And now we can measure it with free TV. Two, one, and it's done. After all is said, they flip the switch. A round of applause for you. A round of applause. There we go. With Lego switched on, the Minister for Information and Culture says the digital migration will be reaching other states in good speed. From Lagos, the DSO train heads to Kano State on June 3rd, to Lagos on June 8th, to Yobe on July 15th, to Gombe on August 12th, to Igbo on August 24th, to Aba Igbo on August 31st, to Oyo on September 9th, to Chigawa on September 23rd, to Epoi on October 17th, to Kassina on October 21st, to Anombra on November 4th, and Delta on November 18th. The federal government is seeking to close the digital gap among the society's social classes with video on demand, capacity for audience measurement, and a lot more features for better TV experience. Dari Itou, Channels Television News.